For the first time in three months, we're seeing a slight decline in the number of Idahoans hospitalized because of COVID-19, but state leaders say it's still not enough to clear health care workers from operating under crisis standards of care. This afternoon, the Department of Health and Welfare held their weekly COVID-19 briefing. After steadily climbing for months, officials say the number of Idahoans hospitalized and requiring intensive care because of COVID-19 has seen a slight decline over the last week. This comes after the state surpassed 3,000 COVID related deaths last week. Officials continue urging Idahoans to get vaccinated as a vast majority of these deaths are among those unvaccinated. St. Alphonsus continues to see record numbers of COVID patients with about 40% of their patient volume coming in with COVID-19. The chief medical officer says COVID is here to stay and Idahoans need to stay vigilant. I'm here to tell you that we've lost the war, that COVID is here to stay. And the reason it is here to stay is because we cannot vaccinate enough of the public to fully eradicate the disease. And absent being able to do that and accomplish herd immunity, we now need to move into the phase of recognizing that COVID is going to be a disease to be managed for the long term future. Halloween and many other holidays are, of course, coming up. And although we are seeing a small decrease in severe COVID-19 cases, community transmission is still high and health officials are asking the community to do whatever they can to protect themselves and others.